Okay, so now that I knew all this, uh, I went to Cara. Cara is the mountains of, of marble, where you have where Michelangelo used to used to carve his marble. So I went there. This is the cave. It's really really tall. It's taller than the ceiling, and I extracted my piece of marble and I started to work on the commission of Dante for a private collection. This is Dante, the greatest writer who ever existed, in my opinion. Uh, wrote the Divine Comedy, uh, described Inferno, the, described Hell, Purgatorio, and Paradiso. This is his profile. So that's a funny thing. <laughs> I was working so much on this statue. You know, you have a piece of rock, and you have to go to find the, the detail and the beautiful skin and all that. It's really difficult, and it takes about 300 hours of work because I do all handmade. I don't use power tool or anything like that. And one day, I say, OK, this is too, too much work. I need a break, so I take my car. I go randomly in the south of Italy, not knowing where I'm heading. And I arrive to a village called San Leo say, that's interesting, this big rock like this in the middle of nowhere, let's stop the car. I go up here, and why do I see on every, <laughs> on every wall the portrait of Dante? <laughs> so, I was like, okay, what's going on here? Uh, I'm trying to get some rest from this, uh, you know, and I, I see your face everywhere, I love you, but come on, give me a break. I need to breathe, okay? Uh, I'm dedicated, but come on, please. Uh, give me some privacy. Um, so I asked the people, w w why Dante is over there in Italian? Ma perché Dante su questo muri? Eh, they said to me, but sir, that's where he created and imagined the divine comedy. I had goosebumps. I say, okay, but a little bit uncomfortable, though. Just like, I say, you know, I'm going to meet him in, a, in the street or something. Uh, so I say, okay, that's great. Very glad to look. It's a purgatorio because there is a road going around the mountain. So I say, okay, I get out of here. I go back to my marble. Then I go to Ravenna to give my respect to Dante and bring some flowers to his grave. Uh, it's a proper thing to do when you're doing his portrait. And I go to a B&B, &B, bed and breakfast, really nice. That looks like a monastery. And the guy who owns it says, OK, uh, what are you doing? I say, oh, I'm just taking a break. Uh, you know, <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm, I'm putting some roses on the, on the tomb of the, the person I intellectually adore. And uh, he said, and, and who is that? I said, Dante. Oh, Dante. But do you know <laughs> that the hotel where you are, and nobody knows that in Ravenna, is the place where he hide from the Florentines. I say, okay, uh, that's too much. Uh, I'm not taking any break anymore. I'm just going to finish that piece, because next time he's going to show up himself. Okay? <laughs> so, uh, that is my first marble. Why I want to tell you that? Because I, I arrived in the mountain of Carra, and there was all this great faces, this old guy who tell me, ah, oh, Giovanotto, oh, you're the, the young one who wants to try the marble. Huh? And uh, I say, yes, sir. Uh, I never did marble, but I drew a lot. I really drew a lot. And I say, oh, yes, but you don't know the stone. So they were making fun of me. And uh, they give me a stone, and they give me the chisel. And that's why I talk about instrument. I look at the chisel, and they were flat like brushes. Oh, I know how to use brushes. So I started carving planes, 5,000 hits a day. And then I got that. And they, they stopped laughing. So here, this is because I show you this work and, and where I come from.